Hi, this is Jason from Aguirre's Clocks, and today we're going to take a look at this Howard Miller Commemorative Edition Model 610757. This is number 159 of only 500 units made, and it was to commemorate Howard C. Miller's lifetime from 1905 to 1995. This one was purchased in 1997 and stayed in the same family until just a year ago when we purchased it. It is a mahogany case with crotch mahogany book matched in the top. And the base of the clock. Now, most of Howard Miller's commemorative editions or limited editions are limited to 2,000. This is one of only 500. And I'll go into the case in just a minute, but I wanted to make sure to show you this. Now, this is the same dial that you would get on the presidential model produced around the same time in the mid 90s. You can see here the plaque. The major difference with this dial is the lunar calendar on it. Um, it represents what you're seeing now, which was Mr. Miller's church. And then you have your moon. And the other one was his passions, which was his family and his clocks. And then there's another moon on the other side as it rotates around. It's a really pretty heavily etched lunar calendar. All right, now to the case. All the glass is beveled, every piece of it top of the door, bottom of the door, side glass, and even, which they don't always do, but the glass in the side, uh, upper side doors. It is a Windsor cherry finish, so it's got a nice gloss to all of it, and then all the fancy wood, which, from what I've been reading, there is satin wood, oak, paddock, uh, flame mahogany, and maple in this inlay, some of which came from Mr. Miller's house. It's an actual real inlay on this clock, something Howard Miller doesn't really do anymore, even in their upper end clocks. Uh, it's more of a photocopy now, whereas this is a true inlay. And it's very nice. It's a nice turned pieces on the column. Nice half columns all the way up and down on both sides. This model also got unique weights to it. Uh, I don't haven't seen them on any of the other clocks. Uh, they're a pretty simple weight, as you can see, but they have a nice band in the center that's etched into it and then uh, even higher polish in the middle which is kind of hard to tell in the video but this is all polished and this has got even more gleam to it here in the middle uh, nice embossed pendulum and then dental molding uh, on the base of the door here or on the base of the cabinet right above right below the door It has a real heavy duty Kenninger movement. Uh, this was before Howard Miller purchased Kenninger, so this is a true Kenninger movement, not a Miller version of the Kenninger movement. And you can always tell real easily when you're looking at the clock because this has a removable bushing here on the back and on the front, which allows you to remove the barrels out of this. 
uh, to do a more in-depth servicing and to replace these should they wear. Uh, it's, a, it's a better movement than the actual Miller movement. All the glass is put in with wood trim instead of rubber surround like most of their clocks. Uh, they also did this in most of the presidential line. It's a nice touch. And there are, you can, this case was hand finished and hand polished and you can tell because there are variations in how dark it is. Uh, and that has to do with how the wood took the stain originally when the case was put together before they finished, uh, before they put the hand polish on it. Uh, this model also has three finials instead of just one, which is nice. And it has this stair step here on both sides to raise the outer finials up. It gives it a little bit more depth. It makes it look a little bit bigger. It's a beautiful clock. Also has the inlay in the front of the door made from the same woods as the top of the clock. It's on the floor right now. You can come take a look at it anytime you want. It's not an overly elaborate case, but it is a very well made and very well finished case. I'll go ahead and show you what it sounds like. One more thing to show you here. So, like I said, this is the same dial that they use on their presidential model. Uh, they still use this dial on their presidential model. However, over the years, for some reason, in order to save money on manufacturing, uh, would be my only guess, is they have removed these nice, uh, which was an upgrade at one time. Uh, this would be your nighttime and strike silent and then this would be your actual chime and chime silent. They've moved it to a standard position, which you, is what they do on all the clocks, where it's a lever on the side over here. So these older presidential models have a little bit nicer feature to them uh, up here with the dials in the corner. You can find us at meguiresclocks.com and under Meguiar's Clocks on Pinterest, Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. If you have any questions, please feel free to call 512-452-4558. Thank you and have a great day.